Adobe Illustrator, Part 2. In this tutorial, you will learn how to add a background. Now that we've taken a tour, we'll begin our poster. A lot of what we'll do will require working on small areas. So we'll often need to zoom in or zoom out. The easiest way to do that is to hold either the command if you're on a Mac or the control key if you're on a, on a PC and use the plus or the minus. So when I hold down command hit minus, I zoom out. When I hold down command hit plus, I zoom in. Another option is to hold down the option key, or on a PC an alt key, and scroll up or down on your mouse. If you ever go way too far out, there's an option under view to fit the artboard in the window, and that will snap it back to where the artboard fills up the whole screen. So I will get rid of a few of these things and we can begin by adding a new background color. To add a new color, we'll select the rectangle and we're going to put a giant rectangle of any color we want as the bottom layer. So everything else will sit on top of it, making it like, like a background color. So I'm going to make mine light brown. And I'm going to start outside the artboard, click and drag all the way to the other side. So once again, the color is outside of our artboard, but after we set up the print area, only that which is in the artboard will get printed. If at any time you need to move something or change the size, use the black arrow, which is the selection tool. This is different than the direct selection tool. The selection tool, you generally move the whole object. It changes everything. So if I want to resize it, I'll go up to the corner box here, and I can click, hold, and drag to make it bigger or smaller. The direct selection works on each of these specific boxes. So if I didn't want this to be a, a rectangle anymore, but wanted to give it some angle, I click on that box, and that'll let me change just the way that one part is called an anchor, just the way that one anchor sits with the rest of the box.